You're probably watching this because you're not content with an average life. You're after something bigger. Today, we're cutting through the noise and myths about success to reveal a truth so fundamental, yet so overlooked. It could be the missing link in your quest for greatness. Today, we're exploring the groundbreaking concepts from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. This isn't about luck, talent, or even hard work. It's about the microscopic decisions that can either hold you back or propel you into a different stratosphere of achievement. So, keep watching because what you're about to learn could transform your life. Ready to discover the secrets? Let's get started. 1. Big things come from small changes. Let's start with a simple truth. Rome wasn't built in a day, but they were laying bricks every hour. The same applies to your life. You might not see immediate transformations, but every small action you take is a brick in the structure of your future self. This is the essence of atomic habits. The idea that tiny changes can lead to remarkable results. Now, you might be wondering, how can something so small make a significant impact? Well, consider this. If you improve by just 1% every day, you'll end up 37 times better by the end of the year. That's the power of compounding daily progress. And here's the kicker. One of the most satisfying feelings in the world is the feeling of making progress. When you see those small wins accumulating, it becomes extremely motivating. It's the fuel that keeps the engine of ambition running. So the next time you're tempted to dismiss a small action as insignificant, remember, it's another step on the ladder to greatness. And it's another brick in the Rome you're building. 2. Every action is a vote for the person you wish to become. Let's talk about identity, the core of who you are. You see, habits are not just actions. They're a reflection of your identity. When you make a choice, you're not just deciding what to do, you're casting a vote for the kind of person you want to be. For instance, when you choose to read a book instead of scrolling through social media, you're casting a vote for being a learner rather than a passive consumer. When you hit the gym instead of hitting the snooze button, you're voting for a healthy lifestyle over comfort. But here's where it gets interesting. No single action will transform your beliefs overnight. It's the accumulation of these votes that gradually shapes your identity. And as your identity evolves, so does your ability to perform certain habits that align with that identity. It's a self-reinforcing loop. So, if you've been struggling with implementing new habits, maybe it's time to shift the focus. Instead of asking, what do I want to achieve? Ask, who do I want to become? Then, start casting your votes for that identity with your actions. Remember, you're not just building habits, you're building a new version of yourself. 3. Consistency. Never miss it twice. Consistency is the unsung hero of success. You've probably heard the saying, consistency is key. But do you know why? It's because habits are not a one-and-done deal. They require ongoing effort. And that's where the principle of never miss it twice comes into play. Picture this. You've committed to a new workout routine, but one day you're just too tired. Or maybe something urgent comes up. You skip the gym. Now, missing one day isn't a big deal in the grand scheme of things, but it's what happens next that's crucial. The principle of never miss it twice is your safety net. It means that if you miss a day, you make it a point to get back on track as quickly as possible. Why? Because it's far easier to fill a small hole than it is to dig yourself out of a deep pit. So the next time you slip up, don't beat yourself up. Instead, make it your mission to rebound immediately. This simple yet powerful rule can be the difference between habits that last and habits that fade away. It's not about being perfect. It's about being resilient. 4. Habit Stacking Building a new habit from scratch can be daunting. But what if you could piggyback it onto something you're already doing? Welcome to the world of habit stacking, a strategy that simplifies the process of habit formation. Here's how it works. You identify a habit you already have and stack your new desired behavior on top of it. For example, if you already have the habit of brushing your teeth every morning, you could stack a new habit of visualizing your goals at the same time. The existing habit serves as a trigger for the new one. The beauty of habit stacking is that it removes the guesswork. You don't have to figure out how to fit this new habit into your day. You simply attach it to something you're already doing. It's like adding a new piece to a well-established puzzle. Take a moment to think about your daily routines and identify where you can stack a new habit. It's a straightforward yet effective way to build new behaviors without overwhelming yourself. 
The goal isn't to change everything at once. It's to make sustainable changes that stick. Five, love the process. Most people are obsessed with the end result. Whether it's losing weight, building a business, or mastering a skill, we're often fixated on the finish line. But what if I told you that the key to sustainable success lies not in the destination, but in the journey? When you fall in love with the process, something magical happens. You give yourself permission to be happy now. You find satisfaction in the daily grind, the practice, the incremental improvements. And guess what? That makes the journey not just bearable, but enjoyable. This shift in perspective is liberating. Instead of constantly chasing the next milestone, you find contentment in the present moment. You relish the sweat, the struggle, the small wins that most people overlook. And that, my friends, is a game changer. Because when you're fueled by the process, you're not just working towards success, you're enjoying a successful journey. So, the next time you find yourself impatiently waiting for that big win, take a step back and appreciate the process. Your future goals will thank you, but more importantly, your present self will too. Six, goals set the direction, systems make them happen. Let's talk about goals and systems, two terms often used interchangeably but are fundamentally different. A goal is what you want to achieve, a destination you're aiming for. A system, on the other hand, is the set of routines and behaviors that will get you there. You see, goals are great for setting a direction, for giving you that initial burst of inspiration. But what happens after the excitement wears off? That's where systems come into play. While a goal says, I want to lose 20 pounds, a system says, I will exercise for 30 minutes every day. The goal provides the what, but the system provides the how. Here's the thing. If you focus solely on goals, you're setting yourself up for a roller coaster of emotions and likely to be constantly falling short of achieving them. But when you focus on systems, you're always in the game. You're continually making progress, and that's a win in itself. So if you've been fixated on goals, it's time to shift your attention to systems. Because at the end of the day, if you're always in the game, you'll eventually win sooner or later. 7. Take control of your environment. Have you ever wondered why some habits stick while others fall by the wayside? The answer often lies in your environment. You see, your surroundings aren't just a backdrop to your life. They're an active participant in it. They influence your behavior, sometimes subtly, sometimes overtly, but always significantly. The key takeaway here is to be the designer of your world, not merely the consumer of it. What does that mean? It means arranging your environment to make good habits easier and bad habits harder. For example, if you want to eat healthier, keep fruits and vegetables within easy reach and hide the junk food. If you want to read more, keep a book on your nightstand or your coffee table. By designing an environment that nudges you toward good choices, you're setting yourself up for success. It's like having a personal coach embedded in your life, gently steering you in the right direction. And the best part, once your environment is set up, maintaining good habits becomes almost effortless. It's not about relying on willpower. It's about creating a world where the right choices are the easiest ones to make. So, take a moment to assess your environment. What changes can you make to be the architect and environment that makes success inevitable? 8. Repetition, not perfection. Perfection is the enemy of progress. How many times have you put off starting something because you wanted everything to be just right? The truth is, mastery doesn't come from perfection. It comes from repetition. Bruce Lee once said, I don't fear the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks. I fear the man who practiced one kick 10,000 times. In the realm of habits, repetition is your best friend. Whether it's practicing an instrument, working out, or learning a new skill, the key is to start with repetition, not perfection. Each repetition is a small but significant step toward ingraining that habit into your life. Think about it. The first time you do something, it feels awkward, maybe even difficult. But as you repeat it, it becomes more natural, almost automatic. That's the power of repetition. It turns the unfamiliar into the familiar, the difficult into the doable. If you're aiming to master a new habit, don't get bogged down by the details. Don't wait for the perfect time, the perfect plan, or the perfect conditions. Start now and let repetition do its magic. Because in the long run, it's not the one-off performances, but the consistent actions that build legends. 9. 
Discipline and motivation. Let's tackle a myth. The idea that successful people are always motivated. The truth? They're not. They face the same bouts of laziness, procrastination, and lack of motivation as anyone else. The difference? They show up anyway. Discipline is doing what you need to do, whether you feel like it or not. You see, motivation is fickle. It comes and goes. But habits? They're reliable. And that's why even when successful people don't feel like doing something, they do it anyway. They understand that the path to greatness is paved with consistency, not momentary bursts of inspiration. So how can you apply this to your life? Simple. Make a pact with yourself to show up, no matter how you feel. Whether it's going to the gym, working on your business, or practicing a skill, the act of showing up, even when you don't want to, creates a sense of commitment and discipline that motivation alone can't provide. Remember, the battle is often won before it's even fought. By making the decision to show up, you're already halfway there. And once you start, you'll often find that the motivation you were seeking comes naturally, as a byproduct of action. So the next time you're feeling held back by a lack of motivation, don't wait for it to magically appear. Take action and let the motivation follow. This is the way of the winner. All right, you've absorbed a wealth of knowledge from Atomic Habits. But let's get real. Information without action is merely entertainment. So here's your challenge. Take out your phone right now. Open your notes app and jot down one micro habit you're committing to start today. It could be as simple as doing five push-ups every morning or reading one page of a book each night. Got it? Good. Now set a reminder to check in on your progress one week from today. This isn't just about forming a new habit. It's about taking the reins of your life. And if you think this video can help someone else seize control of their destiny, go ahead and share it. Let's not just aim for personal greatness. Let's elevate those around us. The ball's in your court. What's your next move?